High elevation is the best elevation. The higher, the better the view. Welcome to the newly designed Sentus Mountains. Except it doesn't look like anything's really different, except for maybe this. Well, while I'm waiting, I want you to take note of my now top favorite feature that I've designed, the clock. You gotta get to the goal platform before time runs out, so I'm giving you lots of cues as to just how much time you got remaining. The first is obvious, the digits. If this is zero, you'll lose a life, and it's right back to the start platform, no matter where you are, even in boss levels. However, then you also got these hands here that are constantly changing. You got the second hand here, you got the minute hand here, and you got your hour hand here. The third method is the clock face. This is green right now, but just you wait and it'll change. The fourth method is the how much of white in here, and you'll notice that it's slowly getting more and more white. And the next thing I want you to note is over here, the ground decals. There are... This is where I made a huge change in, as far as the level of detail goes. And I mean a huge change. When I first saw this, I was amazed at just how richly detailed all this was. You can see a bridge here. You can, uh, this is actually a suspension bridge, just so you know. And of course, there's a city over here. There's another little tiny bridge over here. It's actually right here. It's crossing a river here. Here it's crossing a rather large looking lake. And this right here is actually a maglev train. It's going 192 mile an hour, but it looks so slow. Reason? Very easy. It's more than two miles away. It is very far. Notice the farm fields here? I love this banding here. I would like to see this in full screen, but I don't really know full screen or don't have the functionality in there just in my game just yet. But I love this city too. That was the first thing I was impressed with. But you might also be wondering, what is this? This is actually a platform level that's hiding in the background. It's much like what World 7 has, except uh, in this case it's not paralleling the scene all the time. It's instead... Actually, well, I'll have to show you, except i got to get down super fast. And that's what the bounce ability is all about. And that's one of its advantages. Is extreme speeds, but if you hit slopes, who knows where you're going to be going? And I mean, who knows where you're going to be going? I'll just jump there. If you look here real closely, you can actually see the, a platform level right there. It's very easily visible right there, but that's because it's incredibly far away. Just over four miles away. Yeah, it is really far. But even then, it's still closer than e these closest mountains. And speaking of which, I was stunned as to just how detailed, massively big these things are. You have to remember, I have zero experience with mountains. <laughs> Whoever knows where I'm going to be going. Okay, and then I hit that slope. That's the thing about the bounce ability. You really never know where you're going to go and be heading off to when you hit a slope. Of course, that's convenient. <laughs> so, now to show you the parts up uh, behind the mountains, which is going to take a while. Notice how this is a brilliant yellow? Hmm, yep, that's the other difference. The uh, 8 minutes basis is actually something you could normally experience. Actually, 3,000 or so is you know, probably about the maximum you'll ever see. Oh boy, up and up and up. But everything in this game really is truly to scale. It is realistically to scale on every front there is. Come on, where's the peak at? It's around here somewhere. Whoa. <laughs> Wasn't expecting it to be. I thought I was in love quite a bit in up yet looking at the background. Oh, wow, that's convenient. That's the nice thing about the bounce ability. If you get it just right like that, <laughs> lucky shot, basically. I can really, really focus on the speed. I'll just jump there. And I guess I'll get a height boost, unexpectedly. <laughs> 
Now, look right here. More ground decals. You're actually supposed to be able to see these. But everything else beyond that, they are hard to see. Yep, you're right here. You can see more. My goodness, look at this. I'm already higher than Mount Everest in elevation. Remember, height and elevation. Mount Everest is 29028 or something, or 035. I've seen two sources with different numbers. But yeah, this is a nice, nice view from way up at the top. Ah, it's orange. Yep. It's slowly getting there. Of course, with this kind of speed, you'd think I'm racing toward the golf platform. But I am actually approaching it, but way off angle. My, my, this is nuts. See, now I'm almost going dead horizontal. <laughs> Up a lot. That's the thing about the bounceability. And this is one of the reasons why this world's one of my top favorites. Because... You can explore the mountains. You can run up and down all the mountains you want. Or do screwy things like this bouncing and stuff all over the hills and slopes. Yep. You never know where you're otherwise going to end up when you hit some slope. <laughs> Teasers, as I often refer to those. Ha! <laughs> did it again! That's twice in a row. That's a first. Up, up, up. Up, up, and away. Of course, I'm going to go way over to the left, because you think I need to get to the goal platform any second now. But I'm so, so far away from it. It's quite a lovely view, isn't it? All those ground decals that are just so richly detailed. And when the time, of course, is really getting low, you'll only see just a, a brilliant red sliver visible so much height I don't know what to do with it got barely a minute left to get to that goal platform of course with speed like this well man I where am I going <laughs> the only way you're going to actually be able to climb mountains is if you kick up your acceleration. It's the only way you'll be able to climb mountains. <laughs> Whoa! Slow it down! And of course I miss. That helps. There it is! Of course I don't have the functionality in and, and there's like nothing left on the clock. <laughs> and of course when time runs out you end up losing a life, right? However, that's not entirely the case because... Okay, it's now going into debugging mode. I just wanted to put that in there just so I can demonstrate what the clock is really going to be like as far as how that is. <laughs> I love bounce so much. That's why I use it almost all the time. Of course, normally it doesn't happen when you jump like that or fall down here. Way, way down. You really still get fast. So, this video was created by Alililia. Thank you for watching.